The Seattle Seahawks got to face the Rams without Cooper Cup, Aaron Donald, and Matthew Stafford, and yet they barely snuck out with a 27-23 win to get to 7-5 and stay in the playoff chase. Meanwhile, the 4-8 Carolina Panthers are not out of it in the NFC South. I'm not sure anybody would have thought that Seattle versus Carolina would have such huge playoff implications in Week 14. But here we are. The Panthers were on their bye week last week, so they will be well rested for this co cross-country trip. Could we get a Sam Darnold versus Geno Smith shootout in 2022 while the Jets wonder if Mike White is the guy? The Seahawks don't have the same dominant running game that they've had at times this season. And now Kenneth Walker III might be out for this game with a sprain on the inside of his ankle. That leaves a lot on the shoulders of Geno Smith who is still playing at a high level and keeping this team alive. However, only 90 rushing yards against a depleted Rams team is reason for concern, as is allowing 23 points to John Wolford. The Panthers have had tough breaks this season, but this team does have life. Their defense is around league average in points allowed, which isn't great, but is a lot better than Seattle's bottom five unit. The Seahawks defense just doesn't have the personnel to be competitive down the stretch. So I like Carolina to pull an upset on the road here this week, and I'm going to take them on the money line. The play here, I'm going to go with give me the Panthers at plus 170. What say you? Like, hate, tail, fade, let me know. Comment section below. As always, may the winner be yours. Good luck whichever way you go. This is Trending Rabbit.